you considering relocating to Seattle? In this video, I'm going to show you the pros and cons of living in Seattle, the good, the bad, and the ugly. I am a real estate agent in the Seattle area. I am a native to the state and I have lived here my entire life. I love it here. On this channel, I'm going to talk about living in Seattle and the surrounding areas and what you need to know before moving to Seattle. If you have any questions regarding Seattle, Washington or the surrounding areas, give me a call or text or email. People reach out to me all the time and I would love to talk to you. So let's get started. We're going to start with the cons first. Get the bad over with in the beginning. Con number one, not as much sunshine as many other cities in the United States. Now this could also be a pro if you don't like the heat. I always thought Seattle would be perfect with just a little more sunshine. Seattle, Washington's weather is really quite mild year round and we get to see all four seasons. The rain doesn't stop a true Seattleite here. We do things rain or shine. Most native Seattleites don't even use an umbrella. You know if they've been here a long time, if you only see them walking around in a raincoat in the rain. In fact, I've had an umbrella in the back of my car for probably 20 years and I've used it one time. It is very difficult to predict the weather around here and very hard to rely on. The winters are typically cloudy and drizzly, in January and February, it seems like those seem to be our coldest months. We get a couple weeks of freezing temperatures, sometimes down into the 20s, but that is not usual. In the spring, we get a little bit more rain. April showers bring May flowers. You can't have all these beautiful flowers without a little bit of precipitation. Lately, our summers have reached into the 90s and even 114, which is crazy but normally they are mid 70s to low 80s. July and August are our warmest months and the least amount of rain. We rarely see rain during these months, unless of course you have something big planned. Con number two, traffic. I think we are right up there with Los Angeles. There are many back roads to navigate though, and there are many forms of transportation. We have the sounder train, a light rail, we have metro buses, we have lots of biking trails and bike lanes. Part of the problem is, is there's so many people coming to Washington that the roads have not been expanded before they get here. A lot of the roads are older and windier and they can't really be expanded. Con number three, taxes. Taxes are a big complaint from people who live in Seattle. Our sales tax rate is around 10% which is quite high, but we do not have a state income tax, which tends to even out. Our property taxes are quite high. They are typically 1.25% of the assessed value of the home. Now, if you have a $600,000 assessed value, that would mean your annual taxes are $7,500 a year. Con number four, transients. We have a huge homeless problem in the Seattle area and in a lot of the areas outside of Seattle. It is so sad to see so many people living in this situation. This made downtown Seattle very dirty and filled with trash and tents. The government is quite liberal in the city and they don't seem to be addressing the problem or fixing the problem in my opinion, but that's a whole nother video. So we won't go there. Con number five, the cost of living in Seattle is quite high compared to the national average. It is approximately 72% higher than the national average for the United States. You need a salary of just over $72,000 to live comfortably in Seattle. The good part is we have lots of jobs and the salary is obtainable. Housing prices are quite high. The median sales price in Seattle area in February of 2022 was $780,000. Rents are also quite high. A studio apartment is approximately $1,500 in the city of Seattle. A three bedroom house is anywhere from $3,000 and up. In most cases, rental costs are actually higher than purchasing a home. Okay, so let's talk about the good stuff. The pros. Put a comment below of your favorite pro of Seattle if you have been here before or if you live here. 
Okay, so we're gonna start with pro number two. Make sure you watch to the end to see pro number one, which is the best pro of Seattle. Pro number two, Seattle has tons of sports. So if you are a sports enthusiast, this is the place to be. We are huge Seahawks fans here. We even named our fans the 12th man. We have a pro hockey team now at the Climate Pledge Arena. We have a junior hockey team, the Seattle Thunderbirds, who play in Kent at the Showwear Center. We have a women's basketball team, Seattle Storm. We also have the famous Seattle Mariners baseball team and the Seattle Sounders soccer team. So if sports is your thing, there is no shortage. Pro number three, Seattle has a high average income compared to the national average. The median income here is $62,000. The national average income is $53,000. In comparison, San Francisco is $73,000 and Phoenix is $49,000. Denver, Colorado is $48,000, just to give you a benchmark. Seattle ranks number nine out of the top 10 expensive cities in the US. San Francisco, Los Angeles, Boston, and Brooklyn, New York are some of the more expensive cities. Pro number five, Seattle has a population of very healthy people. According to Wallet Hub, Seattle is ranked the number two healthiest city in the US. San Francisco is number one and Portland is number three. I attribute this to having so much open space in the area. We have lots of trails to hike and bike. Our weather is very mild year round, so you can get outside and do all these activities pretty much anytime you want. And last but not least, pro number one, the best thing about living in Seattle. There are lots of things to do. We are very nature driven. There are lots of trails, there's lots of waterways, there's lakes, there's rivers, the Puget Sound. You can fish, you can hunt. We have lots of mountains for biking and hiking and skiing. You can drive less than an hour and go to a great ski resort. Whistler in Canada is only four hours away. Seattle is a beautiful place with all its trees and scenery. If you have any questions regarding the Seattle area or any of its surrounding cities, put a comment below or reach out to me. I am a local realtor in Seattle, Washington and I would love to answer any questions you have. If you are planning on relocating to the Seattle area and you would like some more specific information or tips about the area, then please reach out to me anytime. There is so much to share with you about Seattle and the surrounding cities, I can't fit it all into one video. I can help you with specific neighborhoods, schools, restaurants, things to do. Just give me a call.